we lived in Ireland, we didn't have a television, and um, my father and my mother had heard that there was going to be a special on uh, with uh, uh, Matt Malloy and James Galway. So they brought us down to our neighbour's house who had a television. And it was just, I just remember being fascinated by the sound of, of the flute at that stage. And up till then I tried to, tried to play it, but with uh, not much success and much frustration. The fact that I'm at it then 50 years of age now, and I started when I, when I was nine and I'm still at it, and as long as I can breathe, I'll play. And uh, yes, I mean, if, if you lose the passion, forget it. I mean, go back to the day job. <laughs> New ideas and new things need to happen in order for it to stay alive. Um, and I mean, it's important that it doesn't become uh, something that's protected behind glass. Um, so, you know, I think, yeah, I mean, the people that came before us, they were, you know, they, they made it their own. I mean, it was still within, within the tradition, but, you know, a stamp was placed on it. And, you know, it was their innovations and their moving things forward that excited the next generation to start to play. If you look at Irish music on the written page, for the most part, it's it's the skeleton of the tune. Um, it's kind of like you know, it's the rule book more or less of how this particular piece is to be played. But it's wide open for interpretation. If the melody isn't if the melody isn't strong, it's not it it won't last. I mean, there's a reason these tunes have lasted so. <laughs> So long. Um, they have a quality. Um, whether you know you can write it out on paper, or it's just, it, or it's just something that you feel. I mean, there's something inherent in these melodies that you know is the reason why they've endured. <laughs>